how to use the meta business suite for beginners hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with the meta business suite now we all know that meta allows us to customize and optimize our businesses but the meta business suite can seem to be really 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 difficult to navigate it can be hard to understand as well as a very large task to just set up your ad campaign so instead of just going through this treacherous process on your own i'm going to guide you guys step by step for that the first thing you're going to do is open up your facebook business page I have this newly created page and whenever you create a business page by default you have a business suite created to access this just open up and log in as your page and on the bottom left you have your business suite now with the business suite it allows you to connect to your instagram as well as manage your ad campaigns set up content planners start ad campaigns and gain more insight into your facebook page or instagram profile now on your home section, you're going to see a basic summary of everything that's going on. Then after that, on the left, you have notifications. Then you have your inbox for your business page. Your inbox is also going to link to your Instagram page if you have linked that over here as well. Now after that, you have your content section. In your content section, you can set up your Facebook content stream as well as your Instagram content stream. This includes things like your posts and reels, stories, A-B testing, feed and grid, mentions and tags, clips. Then you also have your Facebook photos, playlists, series. And from here, you can actually, you know, search for any of your published content, any of your expired stories, any of your currently expiring stories, scheduled content, and any of your content drafts as well. A-B testing is where you set up one set of content in two different formats or two different ways. You just change one variable between the two sets and this allows you to see what performs better and what you should be pushing to your wider audience. Below that you have your content scheduler or planner. The content planner provided by Facebook does a great job because you can directly plan out your content on the Meta Business Suite. You don't have to worry about setting it up over and over again and you don't have to log into a third-party platform and have that third-party platform get access to your page. Another great thing you will notice is that this is showing me an optimized time for my Instagram audiences. It might also show you an optimized time for your Facebook audiences as well. The reason why it does that is because it knows when your audience is online when it is most active and you can schedule your posts according to the active times of your audience below that you have a section for ad campaigns now there are four primary types of ad campaigns that you can create if you are creating any type of ad campaign you will see that there are four basic types of campaigns one is to get more leads, one is to get more clicks, one is to get your name out there. So it's basically to expand your brand name and one is to get more people to shop. So different ad campaigns are going to have different functions within Facebook. Below that, you have a insights panel. This is one of the most important yet most underrated panels on the Meta Business Suite. It has a basic overview. Then you have a weekly plan where you can create ads, create one story, create one post, and ensure that you are active on some level with every audience that you have. Below that, you have your search results, so your overall Facebook reach. Then you also have your audience, so how many followers you have, returning viewers, engaged followers, messaging contacts. Then you have your messaging insights, so how many messages you are getting and how many conversations you're having. Then you have your benchmarking. So benchmarking allows you to compare your business performance against your own personal, you know, your personal goals that you have. So your Facebook followers, total follows, content interactions, and you guys will see because this is a brand new page. And you also have a businesses to watch section where you can actually watch other businesses and compare your business with similar businesses. Then you have a content overview where you have your reach, your three second views, one minute views, interactions, and minutes viewed. Then you have all of your content analysis, and then your video earnings. 
we will see these stars as well as your approximate earnings for every video that you have pasted on Facebook. Below that, you have a all tools section and there are more tools on Facebook. So you have your engagement tools, analytical tools, management tools, product and service selling tools, and your ad manager. Primarily, most people are using Facebook or the Meta Business Suite for the ad manager. If I open up my ad manager over here, you guys can see this is what the ad manager looks like. And you guys can see this is what an ad campaign is going to look like. The Facebook or the Meta ad manager is different from your ad uh, campaign creator on Meta. Meta is an overarching or a umbrella business manager. But if you want to only specifically look at Facebook ads for your business, then you can open up your business ad manager. Once you view your business ad manager over here, you can create customized campaigns, get detailed reporting, build your audiences, set up your advertiser settings and more. Now let's get started with some of the basic tools of the meta business manager where we're going to start with content planning. So for that, just go into the planner on the left and you can click on create post. From here, you're going to choose whether you are wanting to post on both your Instagram and your Facebook channels. So I only want to post on Facebook and I want to write, hey, Gleaming G is back and we're launching and we're coming with a new style for you all. Stay tuned. And after that, we can also include locations, messages, WhatsApp, A-B testing, as well as different emojis. Then below that, we can set a particular date and time. So we can choose to publish instantly or schedule this. I'm going to schedule this for tomorrow and I can set a particular time. Then I can click on schedule over here. And just like that, I have a scheduled post for Facebook. Now, this is especially helpful for people that are looking to generate some low effort content and you don't want to have to manually post that content every day. Instead, you can put this all in your Facebook planner and this just ensures that you have consistent posting and consistent engagement with your audiences on Facebook. With that, Meta Business Suite is going to give you an overarching view of your Facebook business page and you're going to be able to manage all of your channels more efficiently. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with the Meta Business Suite. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.